gonna take you guys with me to the DMV, but that's probably not gonna happen. It might, but it's probably not gonna happen. It's so freaking windy out. I don't mind the cold so much. It's like 43 degrees. That's not too bad. I'd ride on the highway, not a big deal. But it's the wind that bothers me the most, pushing me around on the highway. And this is not a good day. Not a good day for highway riding. But I did have a little story to tell y'all. I was watching another moto vlogger, uh, Lone Wolfer Garage. I was listening to some of his haunted stories, which are pretty good. And it reminded me of a story that I have. This was in, I want to say 2011, no, it would have been 12. 2012. I just came back from a deployment. I had my brother and a couple friends over, and we were playing some poker. It was just us guys. There was four of us total. I had to leave to go pick up the wife. We only had one vehicle at the time. She was at work, and she was done with work, so I had to go pick her up. I left, came back, it was like 20 minutes, came back and everybody's standing outside, which didn't phase me any, it didn't look any out of the norm. But I walk up to them and they all had a worried look on their face and I was like, okay, what happened? Well, my brother pulls up his phone and he shows me his picture he took. And he took a picture of my cousin, who was also there, and there was a like an apparition behind it. It looked like an old lady. And I was just dumbfounded. I was like, what? That is not possible. But I just said, okay, okay. That's not a big deal. And I was just trying to figure out, you know, are you guys playing a joke or what? But they kept, they kept on about how, you know, they saw that picture and then we went inside and they showed me some more stuff. And they showed me a chair was tipped over and I was like, what was that? And as they were getting out of the house, apparently the chair just flipped itself over. And they all bolted. And they've been outside ever since I had left. So I was like, holy crap, man. My wife has told me she has seen things in the house and heard noises. And she said she has seen an apparition of an old lady. And she only told me that once. And I've never seen it or experienced anything in my house. So I was like, this is crazy. I have solid evidence that my house is possibly haunted. So I was just like, oh man, okay. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna talk to this ghost or whatever and make sure they know that it's okay and they can move on, you know, and hopefully maybe get them out of my house. And I kept going on about it and I wouldn't stop because I was just, oh, I couldn't believe it. And then all of a sudden they all started laughing. Those little bastards found an app on their phone that you can take a picture and put a ghostly figure on the picture. And they tricked me. <sighs> and it was all fun and games. I mean, it was thoroughly enjoyable. But I never had ghostly experiences in my house. I've never experienced anything. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything different. But it seems like every time I'm out of the house for like a week or a month or more, my wife always has some kind of an experience that she notices. And most of the time, it's it's not a big deal. Like just, oh, I heard noises and it bothered me. And, you know, to me, that's just her being worried because I'm gone. And now she's hearing things in the house and I'm not blabbing over them. Oh, I still have never experienced anything in my house except for those stupid pictures. But I just thought you guys would enjoy that story. My brother, a little prankster. But he's never tried that crap again, that's for sure. I was borderline pissed. And I gave him an ultimatum. I said, all right, this is your last chance. If this is a joke, it's cool. I won't be mad, I just wanna know. And that's when they finally broke down and told me that it was a joke. But it was a pretty good joke, and I ended up using that same app on my aunt, so it was, it was, <laughs> it was funny. So the reason I have to go to the DMV is that two of my vehicles, to include this little motorcycle I'm riding right now, 
are coming up on their expiration on the registration and the one vehicle is my pickup and it is expired as of October so I mean I can't drive that thing legally but I might have to because of the wind on the highway so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet if I do take my motorcycle I will take you guys along on the trip and allow you guys to enjoy it if I take my pickup sorry you poop out of luck this is how it goes I know you guys want to see all my stuff all the time watch me go places and do things and that would be an interesting video rather than me just putting around town all day but you got to work with what I give you all right now first things first I will get me a haircut it's been way too long and I have drilled this weekend so I'm gonna to go to my local barber shop called cost cutters and get my head chopped off they do a good job I like a couple of them in there that they know what I want it's really easy I don't have to sell much plus they give good military discount it's a pretty good discount it's even cheaper than their Tuesday and Thursday like regular discounts so I appreciate that and because I get that discount they get a bigger tip Shout out to 402 for sharing my last video on his Facebook page. I appreciate that. Got to keep it real with the Nebraska boys. There's only two of us that I know of. Later today, I'm going to attempt to hand out my spam cards. Yes, I now have spam cards. I'll post a photo or a video of them or something on Facebook or I don't know. Maybe you'll see him in my next video. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Nobody. Nobody can predict the future. Only God knows. God knows what's going to happen. I'm arriving at my uh, favorite haircut place so I will be catching back up with you guys momentarily take it easy y'all all right got my haircut out of the way so She did a great job. Her name was Chelsea from Cost Cutters in Norfolk. Thank you, Chelsea. I love it. Thank you for sticking with me through my debit card issues. The pain in the ass, but did a great job. Thank you. Back on with the rest of this video. Now, on to my other issue. Hi. Locked myself out of my house. So, <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering why the gloves all of a sudden came off of my mirrors, it's because I pulled over and put them back on. Yeah, I know. Hey, I got caught up in something, all right? Jeez, give me a break. Anyway. So, if you're in the area of Norfolk, Nebraska, and you need a haircut, go talk to Chelsea at Cost Cutters. She'll hook you up. Tell her the North Fork Vulcan sent you. 
I'd show you guys my haircut, but you know, I don't want to expose my identity. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be going to figure out who's going to unlock my doors for me. <laughs> I think I'm going to make another video later today. I know I'm doing good, right? Uh, I'll take you guys with me to Madison. If I take my motorcycle, that is. I'll take you guys with me to Madison and uh, we'll uh, redo my registration. And if I don't take my motorcycle, then, you know, you don't get that video. But at least you got this one, and you can thank me for that. You can thank Chelsea for this video. I guess I'm not 100% sure if that was her name, but where she cut my hair, there was a leaf, and on that leaf was written the name Chelsea. So I want to assume that it was her name. But when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> I'm going to tell the wifey poo that I locked myself out of the house. Well, unless something interesting happens, this will be the end of the video. So thanks for tuning in.